Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Our today's lecture is about grammar. It's part one. I'll start with parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech in the English language. Articles are an integral part of the language learning. Now, as you can see on the board, I have described today only two of the parts of speech. The first and the foremost one, which is most important, is noun. A noun is a naming word. It is the name of a person, place or thing. It is the recognition of anything that exists. For example, Ali, Karachi, book, city, chair, tree, etc. Anything, any name that you give to anything has to be a noun. Now there are 10 types of nouns. First one is the proper noun. For example, Muhammad, Abitabad, Kaid, Yazam or the name of any, the proper name of any person sitting right now in the class or the school that you study in or the city that you are living in. The second one is common noun, girl, boy, tree, chair, etc. Anything that exists around you and is in a lot, of, a lot of number is the common noun. Third is concrete or material noun. These are the nouns that you can touch or have a shape, house, table, chair, etc. Then the next one is abstract noun. These are the nouns that have a name but no shape. There are, they can be feelings, they cannot be touched. For example, jealousy, happiness, intelligence, etc. Number five is countable noun. All the nouns, all the things that you can count, book, chair, cars, pencils, etc. Next is uncountable noun. These are the nouns that you cannot count. For example, tea. You need a container to count tea cups or tea pots. Sugar. Again, you need a container for it. Or it can be in bags of sugar or cages of sugar, etc. Coffee, again, needs a bottle or a cup. Number seven is collective noun. This is one word used for a number of things. For example, a swarm of bird, a group of people, a staff of teachers, etc. This is one word which is used for a number of people. Next is compound noun. For example, sunlight, toothpaste, etc. Number noun is noun number. That is singular and plural. Book, books, car, cars, school, schools, etc. Then is possessive nouns. The general's car, the teacher's book. Here by adding an apostrophe, the case is turning into possessive form. The second part that we are going to describe to you today and explain is the pronoun. A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. This word makes repetition go away from a writing and makes it readable. For example, he, she, it, they, I, you and them. There are nine types of pronouns. First is personal, possessive, reflexive, intensive, demonstrative, interrogative, relative, indefinite and reciprocal. Now starting with personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are pronouns that refer to a specific person or a thing. For example, I, you, me, him, he, she, it and they. Next part is possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns are pronouns that show ownership. In other words, something belongs to someone else. My, mine, your, yours, his, hers, its, ours, their, theirs, etc. Next is reflexive pronoun. The examples of reflexive pronouns are herself, ourselves, themselves, myself, yourself. Reflex reflexive pronouns are the pronouns that are used to show that the subject of the sentence is receiving the action of the verb. My, myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves and themselves. Next is the intensive pronoun. Here, you are stressing on your ownership. Intensive pronouns are the pronouns that are used only to place emphasis on the subject and are not essential in the meaning of the sentence. For example, me, myself, they, themselves, etc. Itself, herself, ourselves are also a part of it. Next part is demonstrative. These, those, this, that, this, etc. Next is interrogative, which is the question form. Who, what, which, whose, who. 
नेक्स्ट इज रेलेटिव प्रोनाउंस विच एवर हुम एवर नंबर एट इज इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन एवरीबडी ऑल एवरी वन नन सम एक्सेट्रा द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रोनाउंस इज रेसी प्रोकल प्रोनाउंस दीज आर वन एंड अदर ईच अदर आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस दीज टू पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच विच आर नाउन एंड प्रोनाउंस प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज कमिंग सोन थैंक